Hi all, greetings from Stradoc. Here I am with the next video of the theme Famous Scientist of Modern World. This video is about a famous scientist who has won two unshared Nobel Prize and has simplified chemistry to a large extent. He is none other than Linus Pauling. I request you all to watch till the end and comment how the video was. Without wasting any moment, let's get started. Linus Carl Pauling was born on 28th February 1901 to Lucy Isabel Darling and Herman Henry William Pauling. He was born in the city of Portland, located in the US. His mother ran a boarding house and his father was a known druggist. He went to Washington High School and the College of Engineering. Soon in the year 1925, he earned his PhD in chemistry at the California Institute of Technology. Linus was known for his varied ideas of chemistry. He started his works with the use of X-rays and these X-rays were used to examine the molecular structures of crystals which further led to a better idea of nature of chemical bonds. Pauling used wave mechanics and quantum physics to explain the molecular structure of a matter. He came up with the Pauling's resonance theory which stated that molecules can resonate between different structures rather than holding a fixed structure. This was caused due to the movement of pi electrons, which led to the varying structures of the matter. This theory of Linus simplified chemistry and the insight made possible the creation of many dyes, drugs, plastics and synthetic fibers. These ideas can be found in the series of papers which is collected to form a book called The Nature of the Chemical Bonds and the Structures of Molecules and Crystals. Pauling was also interested in the organic part of chemistry. By the mid-1930s, he was performing successful magnetic studies on the protein hemoglobin. He developed further interest in proteins and along with the biochemist Alfred Miskey, he started his research. In the year 1936, he and Alfred published the paper on general protein structure, in which they say that the protein molecules generally coil into specific configurations but they uncoil when some weak bonds break. In the year 1948, while dealing with chains of amino acids, he discovered cylindrical coil-like configurations which today is called as alpha helix. In one of his trips to New York, he met Carl Landsteiner, the discoverer of blood types. Both of them started working in the branch of immunochemistry where Lunas developed the theory related to antibody-antigen reaction which was due to the antibodies polypeptide chain. He was also credited to having explained the molecular disease of sickle cell anemia, which was caused due to the defect in the hemoglobin structure. He was one of the prominent scientists during the World War II. He worked with the group of other scientists to prepare an artificial substitute for blood serum, which was used to treat wounded soldiers. Also along with his colleagues, he came up with the oxygen detector which was useful in aeroplanes and submarines that were being used in wars. Linus Pauling also came up with the idea of vitamin C. He said that vitamin C could be used to cure cold and other flu diseases which he has written in the book Vitamin C and the Common Cold. He also stated that vitamin C was useful to treat cancer which he has written in the book called Cancer and Vitamin C. This idea of his was not accepted by all and was a very controversial topic. Linus Pauling was awarded with the Davy Medal, Willard Gibbs Award, Priestley Medal, ACS Award in Pure Chemistry, National Medal of Science, among others. He is also the first man to be awarded with two unshared Nobel Prize. He was awarded Nobel Prize in Chemistry in the year 1954 and Nobel Peace Prize in the year 1962. The more Pauling studied about the effects of radiations, the more he was convinced that a nuclear war or even a nuclear testing could cause irreparable damage to the society. He spoke out and with his popularity convinced the people to avoid nuclear testing. This was the main reason due to which Pauling was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. Jonas Pauling was a really good scientist to know about. Due to his works, today's chemistry is a lot more easier to understand. Lunis Pauling Award is given every year to honor people who have come up with outstanding achievements in chemistry. This award is named after this great scientist Lunis Carl Pauling, who passed away on 19th August 1994. 
this was the brief documentary about Linus Pauling. Hope you liked the video and learned from it. Please do subscribe to my channel and like, share, comment on my video. We'll be back with a new video about another great scientist. Until then, thank you.